Today is zoo whoa. whoa zucchini bread day. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Stiver's Homestead. I am Zach. And I'm Jen. And today is zoo whoa. Whoa. Zucchini bread day. <laughs> Finally. Y'all have begged and begged and begged for the zucchini bread. I recipe. begged and begged. <laughs> I, I had to get enough zucchini. Finally have enough. So it's all back there. Yep, we're <laughs> so piling up over there. Today is the day. Um, I'm going to show you all how to make one loaf of zucchini bread. But my day is actually going to be spent in this kitchen making probably about 12 loaves. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we like to freeze it and we store it. Um, you can eat it fresh. You can put it in the fridge. It'll last. But we like to freeze it because we like to eat it all year for breakfast. So that's what we do. And I will show you how to do that at the end. It's very simple in case you do want to put it up and store it. But this is just a, the best zucchini bread in the world recipe. The absolute <laughs> best. And uh, the freezing part. This stuff will be as moist as today yeah. as it will be one year from now. Yeah, the That's recipe the has it set up to be just as good. So And it is. Don't worry about it getting dry or drying out or anything like that. It will be just as good. Pop it in the freezer and you can have it all year. All right, let's do this. Do it. I have got all my bread pans washed and they're sitting out. I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I have six bread pans because I make a lot of zucchini bread. Um, you're just going to see me do one. I have my mixing bowl. You really only need one mixing bowl for this. You can put it all in there. Um, I do have this one and my KitchenAid mixing bowl that I'll probably be using too because I like to mix in that. just makes it easier. I have my chopper, which is what you're going to shred your zucchini with. And I have all my measuring spoons that people sent me. So thank you so much. It's definitely going to make this easier, especially for big batches, because you don't want to mess up. So this is nice. We'll still probably be dashing it, though. <laughs> <laughs> I have my peeler. I guess that's what you call this. So one thing you can do is you can leave the skins on the zucchinis. I take them off because my kids don't know that there is zucchini in it. They love it. So if you want to hide it, you can, there's a <laughs> you can, if you want to have the zucchini in it, you can shred off the peel, and then that way nobody knows there's zucchini. And it tastes like cake, so there you go. All right, I got the measuring cup. You're going to need cinnamon. This is just regular household cinnamon. Vanilla. This is cheap because it's extract, but if you wanted to use the real stuff, you could go for it. It's a little bit too expensive for me. You're going to need salt, just regular salt, table salt, baking powder. I just I put it in here because most of my stuff goes in mason jars, but that's baking powder. You're going to need baking soda. You're going to need vegetable oil, vegetable oil, vegetable, vegetable. <laughs> flour, just a self-rising or all-purpose, it really doesn't matter, and a bunch of eggs, So and Pam to spray your pans, but that's it, folks. That's it. You ready for zucchini bread? Mm -hmm. You gonna say hi to everybody? Hi. All right, so this is all my zucchini. Like I said, I'm making a huge batch of bread, but for this recipe, all you need is one and a fourth cups of shredded zucchini. So you don't need that much unless you wanna do as much as I'm doing.
All right, so I, or Zach peeled all the zucchini, and now I'm just chopping it up to make it a little bit easier because we use this chopper here. Um, you can use a shredder or a grater or a chopper like this. This is actually, my mom found it a good one and I had never used it, so I wanted to try it. It's just a hand crank. But yeah, you just want to chop up and shred one and a fourth cups of zucchini. Also, I forgot to show the sugar. You need sugar. I um, have a lot yeah. of it because, yeah, this is a lot. Okay, so we've got our zucchini, a one and a fourth cup shredded in which, our measuring cup. Which was that even one whole zucchini? It was one. It was one, and we have 15. One zucchini. So All right. If you're looking to make this, you need basically one zucchini, one and a fourth cups. So now we're going to start mixing. All right, preheat your oven to 350 degrees and spray all your bread pans. If you're just doing one loaf, just spray your one bread, bread pan. I have some glass, I have some tin. It really doesn't matter. They all do the same kind of function. So make sure you spray them so it doesn't stick and go ahead and get your oven preheated. So you need two eggs. These are fresh from our chickens, but you can use any kind of eggs you want to. So I'm gonna use my, it's actually not a KitchenAid, it's a knockoff brand, because it was cheaper. And we're gonna use that to mix it all up. It just makes it easier and faster. And this is one cup of sugar. This is just regular white sugar. I'm awkward because I'm left-handed. <laughs> all right, now we're gonna mix those together until the sugar is dissolved. Please be plugged in. <laughs> Plugged in now. <laughs> We're gonna mix it together. You can do this by hand or with a mixer. I just love this thing. I got it a few years ago for Christmas, so that's what we're using. Hi, yeah. Hi. Making zucchini bread. Hmm. I don't like ice cream. Yeah? No ice cream. It doesn't taste like it. <laughs> I have ice cream. No. Okay. Stop, stop. <laughs> oh, okay. Now we're putting in a half a cup of vegetable oil. If y'all have kids, you know they like to help. So hopefully they don't lick it like mine do. <laughs> and one, one teaspoon of vanilla. So now we're gonna get back and mix that together. The liquors are gone. <laughs> All right, mixing that together. We're putting in one and a half cups of flour. All right, now two teaspoons of cinnamon. So now we got a half a teaspoon of salt in. We're gonna do one teaspoon of baking powder. And then a half a teaspoon of baking soda. We're dashing a tad and a dash. <laughs> half a dash. Yep, hope you don't miss my dash. All right, now mix it up. Once we get to the about the 15th loaf of this today, it'll definitely be a dash and a yeah. tad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I know this is moist. I know it looks dry, but what's gonna give you your moisture is your one and a fourth cups of zucchini. So that's shredded zucchini, and that's your last ingredient. So now that that's in, we're gonna mix that up, and that's what's gonna give you the moisture that holds, and that makes it the best bread ever. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna pour it into our greased bread loaf pan. It's gonna be yummy.
So there it is. So at this point, you would pop it in the oven for 45 minutes. When that 45 minutes is up, you can use a toothpick or a fork or a butter knife, whatever. Stick it in the middle. If nothing comes out on the knife, if it's clean, then you're all done. And you can eat it fresh or you can freeze it like we're going to see at the end. So at this point, I'm going to skip forward quite a few hours, make probably 100 more loaves, and then you'll see the end result. All right, y'all. We did it. It was a long day very hot the oven was running all day and it's about 100 degrees outside so you can imagine our our house is very warm with that oven <laughs> so we had 15 zucchinis which came all from our garden and we made 12 loaves of zucchini bread so that's a whole lot of sugar a whole lot of vegetable oil a whole lot of flour <laughs> a lot of other stuff but it for, worked out great. For anyone keeping count on what you see, mother, my mom was here. Yeah. She took one with her. Yeah, on she's already took hers. <laughs> uh, we're going to give one to my parents and we're going to keep one out. So the rest of these we are going to put into the freezer and have them later this year. Um, whenever we start, are done with the harvest and are ready to start unthawing some zucchini bread and making it. So this is only the first batch. And I joke that it's the great zucchini uh, bread bake of 2019, but this is only round one. So that was our first harvest of zucchini. So here comes every other day, and we're going to have all kinds of zucchini to finish making bread with. And some will be eaten fresh, um, some will be sauteed up, some zucchini will be blanched and frozen, and then all the rest of it will go into zucchini bread. So that is what we do with our zucchini here at Cyber's Homestead. How many loaves do you think we'll have? By the time the summer's over, we probably, made 12 this round. Probably 24. Just another 12? Yeah, because we want to give some away too. Oh, I mean, just like total making. Oh gosh, I don't, I don't know. 100? Probably. 100 plus? Yeah. And, and that's out of how many? We planted 12 zucchini plants? Yeah. 12 zucchinis. I think we lost one. Yeah. So if y'all are growing zucchini or if you're thinking about it, I mean, these things run out your ears. Yeah. Once they finally get going, they uh, really do. We had some blossom end rot mm -hmm. issues and some people had some pollinating issues, but. Once all that kind of gets out of the way at the beginning, you can have plenty of these for all year and plenty to share with yep. your friends for sure. Yeah, it, zucchini bread around here is a pretty hot item. So we're going to give a lot away um, to family and friends and stuff like that. And the rest will be stored for us. So yep. I'm going to show y'all how I freeze them. If In case you do the same thing and you're interested. Um, it, when you have so much, there's just no way that you can eat that much zucchini bread. I don't care how much you give away <laughs> when you have that much zucchini. So we like to store ours and freeze it and have it all year. So that's what we're going to do now. So I've got aluminum foil, freezer bags. These are gallon freezer bags. I have done it with freezer bags and just regular gallon baggies. It really doesn't matter. And a permanent marker. So you get your zucchini bread, get you a whole flat here of aluminum and you're going to wrap it up you got to make sure all your corners are up you don't want any edges or anything out and then I'll put a whole and a whole nother sheet on top and wrap it around the back I'll show you that but you don't want anything showing just because you don't want it to get freezer burnt or crumble probably really loud <laughs> And then you're gonna put it over top, do the same exact process. Make sure you fold your corners down, it's basically like wrapping a Christmas present. <laughs> but easier. Yeah, but easier. <laughs> All right, so that is wrapped up tightly. Nothing is exposed. And then we're gonna put it into our freezer bag or baggie, whatever. You could probably use one of those um, what do you call them? Food saver things oh, yeah, yeah. Food to saver. suck all the air out. But I just manually get mine out. Nothing fancy around here. <laughs> that might actually hold it too tight though. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's bread, so you want it yeah. to be fluffy. You don't want it to be too tight. I usually get a straw and suck out the air. Do we have a straw? No. 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 <laughs> I mean, it might take a minute, but you just want to get all the air out. Make sure there's no excess air. Seal it tightly. 
and then make sure you label. You label zucchini bread with the day and the month and the year that you made it. And that way you know when you go to pull it out of the freezer that you have the right bread because I have actually left one in there before and went back the next year but thankfully I had it written down so I knew when it was from. And these will hold, I, I'm, I'm going to say a year because I've never kept them in there longer than a year. Um, after a year they can probably start to get freezer burnt and you'll lose your moisture and they'll crumble and stuff but we keep ours in for a year or less usually less because we usually eat it up <laughs> before the zucchini comes for the next year so it's easy foil ziploc baggie label it put it in the freezer and that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed this i really enjoyed sharing this recipe i've only shared it with a few friends and family that are close to us but this was really cool to share with you all and i hope you try it it's the best zucchini bread recipe ever <laughs> i can promise you it's the only one out there that will keep your zucchini bread moist enough to freeze and last for a year so let me know if you try it comment below or let me know if you do it a better way if you think or what you would do differently but we hope you try it for your family and share it with the people that you love and care for and enjoy your zucchini bread and this ain't being cocky. There is not a better one. So if you think you have a better one, try this one before you come comment. No, I'm just kidding. All right. We love y'all and hope you enjoy. See y'all later.